Hey everyone, Black Thinny Flame Tano, Continent's busiest magic nerd here, and I am here to talk to you about uh, the Uncrowned book by Will Wright, the seventh book upcoming in Will Wright's Shine Shot series. Specifically, I'm going to be theorizing on the Uncrowned Tournament's uh, climax, uh, the climax of the book as well, uh, how that's going to hold, the whole thing's going to play out, and uh, what the antagonists are going to do, uh, how they're going to play their hand. And by antagonists, uh, there's one specific antagonist I think is going to be riling things up. Uh, but let's just get into it. I don't want to be as long-winded as last time. People were complaining about that. I think the climax is going to be the semifinals bracket match between your boy, Wei Shi Linden Aurelius, and the man, the myth, the legend, the genius, the Madra uh, extraordinaire, Ethan Aurelius, his mentor. And... Uh, the reason I think it's going to be specifically these two uh, in the semifinals is because one, we're going to see, um, as we've seen historically through every single book, um, the genius here, rather the savant, the uh, the our adept here, a black flame adept, is going to be uh, punching above his weight again. We're going to see him pull off something extraordinary, beat some people he probably shouldn't beat, but you know he's got a lot of little. Uh, uh, one-ups in different ways, specifically Dross is going to give him a huge hand here. And we're going to see Linden Aurelius, uh, Weishi Linden, get to the uh, semifinals, despite everyone kind of getting a hate on for him for this. Um, and of course, everyone has no contention with the idea of Ethan getting up to the semifinals as well. We're going to probably see him, of course, uh, advance to the Overlord realm, the Overlord level, before he gets to Linden. Um, and we're going to see them in the middle of this match. Uh, gen for the most part, Ethan's going to be winning the match because, uh, you know, it's Ethan. Uh, but, it's, you know, some sort of trick or some crazy ingenuity or crazy idea from our boy Linden is going to be pulled out and actually have Ethan have to try a little bit more, uh, actually have to, you know, unveil some of his secrets maybe or, you know, actually put on his power pants, uh, try try hard as it were uh, he will not necessarily go to his full extent um, we're not going to see him show all his secrets or necessarily any of his secrets but we might see you know a point of view from his perspective where he's like oh no shit i have to pull out the big guns so he may be about to pull out all the you know you know his trump card or pull out all the stops but he won't necessarily because in the middle of this match uh the tournament's going to be upended we're gonna see reagan shin uh riling things up uh we're probably gonna see him you know maybe use a, a bunch of the cultists from all the dread god cults to rile things up so you know he can stay a little bit on the down low and do what he needs to do he's gonna have an ulterior motive of course he's you know maybe there's some sort of secrets uh, he has to try and infiltrate or you know un cover or gather uh, at the tournament or maybe he's using all the distraction to maybe uh, confront or assassinate one of the monarchs but he's not going to be outright about uh, it in the first place so of course you know all the other monarchs if they know it's Reagan Shen it's going to be a lot easier for them to dogpile him just fucking off him right off the bat pardon my black flame there um so yeah um whatever the motive might be however he's going to do it I think he's going to use the tournament to uh uh, interfere for uh, some other ends uh, and he might even have some sort of uh, dread god power that he can exploit to um, buff up his cultists or maybe himself if he decides to you know, rise up and support them but we're going to see him rile things up uh, he might even exploit Yaren here and Clifford uh, as a subreddit uh, user I'll put his name give him credit in the comments but he called it called uh, Yaren's Blood Shadow Clifford because uh, Will Wright was referring to the Blood Shadow as Big Red at one point. So I like Clifford the Big Red Blood Shadow. That's pretty great. No more blaring. Let's do Clifford. It's dumb enough that I love it. Clifford, Clifford, Clifford. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're going to see. Those specifics. Uh, we're going to see the whole, uh, like in Naruto, we're going to see the whole Chunin exams being interrupted. In this case, Uncrowned Tournament being interrupted right uh, far into the tournament. And... Um, yeah, that's my theory. Uh, transition. Did you give it a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? How's my theory? How'd you rate it? Uh, let me know in the subreddit or on the Discord.